Hi, Rita. Locking me up in a dump like this. Do you have any idea who you're dealing with? Get your superior out here now. I knew it was her. She hasn't changed much. Let me go! Settle down, it's just me. Yuri? Uh, are you okay? Rita? <laughs> no, that's funny. Have you calmed down? Yeah. So what are you doing in a place like this? I thought I'd check out the Blastia here before investigating the air credit. And you wound up biting off a little more than you could chew, just like always. But what was it you got involved in? They sneaked the Blastia into the labor camp at night. I mean, that's already pretty shady. Don't tell me you were sneaking around investigating it when you got caught. Of course not. I was very stealthy about it. Yeah, she was all solid snake about everything. And then you got caught. Well, I couldn't just sit around while they were trying to do something weird with the Blastia. The people here have been threatened by the knights and are being made to work. Huh. I bet Teagle's in there too. We cannot allow this to go on. And what about this Blastia you saw? It was a Hope Loan Blastia. It looks like they're gathering them up for a war. They wouldn't. You don't think they're planning on attacking Dongrest again? But why? After they've just set up the friendship agreement. It's got to be Q Moore. There's no way he intends to keep any promises he made to the guilds. Do you know him, Yuri? You met him once, at Kerbakram. Oh, you mean the guy with the creepy voice? I don't mind discussing things here, but aren't we forgetting something? That's right! We've got to rescue Teagle and the others! Then we'll put an end to that forced labor, get rid of all the Blastia they're gathering, and... Um... You can't just get rid of Blastia. They need to be recovered and taken care of. Then we'll have the mages and Ospio come pick them up. Wait! We're being careful, right? Not anymore. But... One thing at a time. R right. Okay, then let's get back to our original plan and head down. Okay. Oh yeah, Serena's gonna help us now. You know, in knight's armor, you really do look like a knight, Yuri. You're quite handsome. You're getting a compliment, you know. It wouldn't hurt to smile. I'm not really crazy about this getup. I've got bad memories of Flynn laughing his head off about how silly I looked in this. Well, I think I get how Flynn felt. <laughs> it's like somebody dressed you up! <laughs> no, not at all, Yuri. It's good because it's so different from who you are. Leave it to Yuri to be different, even in a normal suit of armor. This is why I hate this uniform. You're not wearing it anymore. Calm down. Hide! Where? Okay, we'll hide in plain sight. That's a good idea. <laughs> ah, my lord. Are you sure you shouldn't be going to the sands of Kogo now, sir? <laughs> I don't have to pay attention to Alexei's orders. Using the money and weapons I have, everything will soon be within my reach. And I hope you remember to appreciate the work Leviathan's Claw has done for you. Yes, you will be taken care of, Jaeger. You'll take those weapons I sold you, and attack the Union. <laughs> Boom! Hey, that guy's French. <laughs> I'm afraid I have my sights set on loftier things than the Union. Ignoring the Don is a big no-no. He is a wonderful guy, yeah? Don't go forgetting that. My, my. It almost sounds as if you respect the man. Respect him, I do. But Leviathan's Claw always gets the job done. Oh, such dedication. That's just what I like about you. Don't worry, though. You're looking at the future Commandant of the Imperial Knights. That fool Alexei telling me to watch the Union while he signs friendship treaties with them. 
Yeah, you tell him. If it were me, I'd crush them in the blink of an eye with your lovely weapons. The Union can't possibly hope to stop me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, that guy with the weird hair looked over here and laughed. He definitely spotted us, all right. So he thinks we're funny, does he? I don't know if that guy's really French or not. I'm not good with accents. Man, it's always the same thing with these idiots. So now we know there's a bunch of people being kept down there. Yeah. All right, let's go free them from the idiots. <laughs> What's with you? First you're panic, now you're laughing. You're pretty moody yourself, Rita. You're not really one to talk, Carol. Just shut up. <laughs> I'm so glad we found you here. I mean, I gave up going back to the capital. So even if you had visited me, I wouldn't have been there. Oh, how sweet, Rita. You were gonna go visit Estelle. Uh, I wouldn't go to the capital just to visit someone. I mean, I have to report my findings on the air credit. I just thought I'd say hi or something. I don't know. That sounds like an excuse for a visit with Estelle to me. You stay out of this! Oh, come on. We're all together again. Let's just be happy about that. Yeah, like one big, happy, really arguing family. <laughs> I don't know who to be for this uh, fight that we have to go down, but I want Rita in it. Um, yeah. Mm, that looks good, probably. I'm not really sure. <laughs> Sometimes when um, people leave the party, they come back with different equipment. See? <laughs> Usually only a different... Uh, why haven't I been using this? Huh. Okay, that was a little strange. Let's go down this weird elevator. I know it's an elevator, but I don't even know how it works. <laughs> I don't know. I used to work upstairs, but now I'm forced to come down here. Cooking for the laborers morning and night. There's no time to rest. Anyway, you figured if you're a cook, you would have at least some kind of rest, you know, between breakfast and lunch, and then between lunch and dinner. It's a little girl doing down here. Oh, you were brought here from the stairs, too. In this hour, all the adult workers are at the construction site. Huh, I guess there's no child labor laws in this world. My grandson died on the job the other day. He always said working here would make him a noble one day. Oh, man. That's depressing. Let's get out of the rain. Can we kill this guy? Huh? Look who's here. And a group of those red eyes. Looks like Hugh Moore has become their new client. Hey, do you think that guy who talks all funny could be the red eyes boss? guy that talks all funny. That's really culturally sensitive, you know? <laughs> sure looks that way from here. Get to work! No slacking off, you worms! Look, that's... It's Teagle! If it's money you want, you'll have more than you can use. Now work! Work! Wait! Nice shot. <laughs> Nuri Lua, what are you doing here? I'm throwing rocks at you. <laughs> Princess! You have no right to call yourself a knight. Brute force is not the way to honor the prestige of the Empire. Put down your weapons now. You will also release the people you have tricked into coming down here. This all might be easier if such a naive little princess were to simply disappear. All of your utopian ramblings make me sick. That's not the kind of thing someone with delusions of becoming Commandant of the Knights would say. It's you. You'll be all right now. Jaeger, get rid of them. Yan. Nothing personal, you see? Just business.
Ah, that's so nice. Oh, okay. Anyway, we got another boss fight, which kind of sucks. Okay, so we got two new enemies here. These guys and Jaeger. No 28, though. Like the rest of the Red Eyes, they're weak against Light, so... Ugh. Okay, now it's time to hit by Jaeger. Uh, level 30. Well, the same level as Barbos. Not really that big of a deal. Get away from her! Wow, wow, that really hurt! Whoa! Oh, my arch is sealed. Okay. Shoot! Damn it! Um, hang on a second. Oh, she's sealed too. Okay, I got it. Being sealed really sucks. Do we have. Okay, we got five of those. Okay, now that she's unsealed. That was really useful. <sighs> Damn it. Maybe I should have leveled up a little bit before we came here. Oh. Okay, you're going down. Oh man, that guy's got some range. <sighs> here we go. Okay, I'm gonna quickly kill this guy. This is very dangerous. No, 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 no. no. Shit. Okay. We just need to calm down for a second. We figure this out. Okay, I can't really do anything with these stats right now. <laughs> this sucks. Where'd he go? You have won. How could the Empire cover for such evil? We can't just let it go. You should dry off first. Okay. That was really crap experience. I don't know what's up with that fight, but whatever. Sandwich. That's good. Alright! I must admit, you're very strong. Sir Kumor, it's the Flynn Brigade! Flynn! Well, send him away! We tried, but he insists on coming down to perform an inspection. That lower quarter lout, he simply has no tact. Gosh, what? Yes, Jaeger. What? Oh, this is our time to shine. Really, what are you gonna do? I think you better be making the escape, yeah? Ah, what is this? Please step this way. Move, move. Time to get a move on. We'll get you next time. Next time, gadget. Next time. What an original line. If we don't follow them, they'll. Wait, our job is to rescue Tigo. But. I don't know whose job is what, but are we following them or not? Everyone freeze! That's enough! Hey, just in time. Yuri! Can you get up? It, yes. Sorry, but it looks like something's come up. You'll have to head back by yourself. Say hi to the wife and kid for us. I will. And thank you. So we are going after them. Yeah, I'm sure Flynn has things under control here. Sound good, Carol? Yeah. Plus, I think Estelle's gonna take off after him any minute. Sorry. Jeez, we're going after them, right? So let's get going. All right. Yuri, wait. Gotta run, Flynn. 
Lady Estelis, this journey is far too dangerous for... Jaeger certainly had a unique way of talking. Unique isn't the word I'd use. I had a hard time understanding some of the stuff he said. An ancient way of speaking lost in this day and age. What? Are you serious? It would at least make a good story if that were true. <laughs> He's just foreign. <laughs> okay, enough of this joking and tomfoolery. This episode's gone on, on long enough. I don't know, these episodes are probably going to be really long. I've been recording for an hour and a half. Or hour and 40 minutes now so I think I'm gonna stop recording for now and take a break and then come back to this a little bit later today I'll probably just leave it on this pod screen because I don't know what else to do so I'll see you all next time for more Tales of Asperia everybody